This is what happened to a famous YouTuber after he mocked God. He experienced the wrath of God. But from my point of view, it's just simply an experience. He really, really didn't see the full wrath of God. Jesus isn't quite doing it for I just am definitely questioning why we have to perpetuate a belief that is I, I silly. I because I'll be honest with you, bro. Jesus Christ. I defamed Jesus and God, and I felt His wrath. <laughs> the following three weeks have been the hardest period of my life. Started off in uh, in Qatar. I got violent food poison. Camera taken away at the airport. Get to my hotel. You know, think, it's, it's just little things here and there. Things are showing up. We missed schedule. The next day, got alcohol poisoning. Our luggage was delayed, so we, we had no clothes to get to our events. Qatar was the first time I felt the run. A lot of people in the world today have such experiences. And most of these experiences happen when they do something as this young man has done. They say something that is contradictory to God's purpose for their lives. Even you just simply saying to yourself something negative, that's not God's purpose for your life. Just listen to what the Bible says when it comes to people among God. Galatians in the Bible, the Holy Bible, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever one sows, that will he also reap. So if you say something weird, bad, evil towards God, or blaspheme his name, you get what you sow. Even if you say it to yourself, because God created you, even if you say it to yourself, you get what you sow. Listen to this one. Proverbs, the book of Proverbs in the Holy Bible, chapter 3, verse 34, says, Towards the scorner, he is scornful, but to the humble, he gives him favor. Listen to that and let them marinate over your heart for a minute. If you have bad will or ill heart towards people and yourself, you don't have ill heart and bad will towards you. Everybody says God is loving. Yes, he's loving. But you have to love him enough to do what he says. Take that and hold on to it. You love God enough to do what God says. You see God's love. But when you do what God does not say, you get the punishment that God has assigned to those people who do wrong, especially those who disobey him. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. God bless. Bye.